maybe one day I'll be able to actually write in English and not Sanskrit. Good afternoon. I'm Landon with Merwin and Press. Today, we're going to talk about some things and ways about how I pack my packs for whatever. Uh, we all know just from some former videos that I've done that uh, the way I pack a pack, I pack in modules. Um, and those modules, if you take one of them out, they kind of perform an array of tasks. Put them all together, you have a bag. Plain and simple, right? Well, this is kind of how I arrange it. For one, the PACE principle, P-A-C-E, okay, stands for Primary, Alternate, Contingency, and Emergency. It's typically how I arrange items within those modules and kind of how I plan a bag overall, right? I can only build so much into a bag. It needs to, everything that goes into something needs a purpose or else it's just wasted space and time. <clears throat> and then over here I have the 10 C's of survival uh, from Dave Canterbury. If you don't know who that is, find him on YouTube. He teaches a lot of uh, survivalist bushcraft type stuff. But I find, especially when I'm camping or, you know, planning like a mission set, I end up coming back to these principles because everything in here is basic. It can be used for just camping. It can be used for travel. It can be used for fighting. A lot of things. So I'll get into the 10 C's of survival first, and you will see kind of as I'm going through it, pace is kind of built into here as well, uh, more or less. But I throw this into this, and that's how I plan a bag. That's how I plan a mission. That's how I plan what I, the things I'm going to need. And, you know, there could be auxiliary items, mission-specific items, right? Like a, a camera or extra water, depending on your environment. There's things in that nature. So the 10 C's of survival. First, it's cutting. A cutting tool, a knife, a saw, an axe. Plain and simple. Combustion. You need to be able to make fire. Cover. You need to cover your body. You see, the first three things are pretty much designed to get you fire and get you warm. You can cook food and get out of the elements, right? You're, you're kind of in that first realm of immediate right now survival. Uh, cordage, so you can tie things up. Uh, cotton bandana, there's a hundred thousand uses for a cotton bandana. Uh, you need to look those up. You can make tinder with it. Uh, Pre-filter water, uh, it can cool, it can warm, it can do a lot of things. Cargo tape, duct tape, gaffer's tape, 100 mile an hour tape, whatever. Tape is very important for gear repair, not just holding things together, but the things that, like your bag, you need to be able to repair your bag. And duct tape has a million other uses. Compass, plain and simple. A cloth sail needle. A cloth sail needle is mainly used to repair gear. Repairing belts, shoes, packs, hats, whatever. They're perfect. They're, they're actually like a really big sewing needle, a sail, like a ship sail needle, uh, and candling, which is like a lighting device, a headlamp, flashlight, whatever, lantern, however you're going to light things up. So if you go down through this, each thing, yes, cargo tape and cordage could be the same thing, but the reason we have cargo tape separate is because it is used for different things. So like I said, pace is kind of built in here with the gear repair. Uh, cloth sail needle can also has medical uses. There's things like that. So to the main squeeze of how I pack is the pace plan, primary, alter alternate, contingency, and emergency. So I'm going to go through some of these and show you what a pace plan is for that. I'm going to start with combustion because it's usually the easiest and it actually you can use all four of these some of these things might not have a primary they might just be a thing you'd plan on using but it's primary in itself or they might not have an alternate or an emergency so primary for combustion a big lighter or whatever lighter right I always have a cigar lighter that would be my primary these run out of fuel quickly they're not a very you know great primary but a big lighter okay so every time I start a fire, I will start with a big lighter. Alternate. What's an alternate to a lighter? Matches. Uh, there's fire pistons. There's other things. Think about something that uses resources allocated for that thing. A match. 
is basically can only be used as a match. There's some other uses, but it's a match. Um, contingency. So think about it. Your primary has failed. My Vic lighter is broken, lost, uh, unable to start. My alternates have gotten wet. My matches are wet. What is a contingency fire making thing I can do? I can make a bow drill. I can uh, rub two sticks together. I can pray for fire. I can use flint and steel uh, if I don't already have that stuff, right? So contingency is making other things work. Okay, my primary is gone. My alternate's gone. I have to make something work. Now, for fire, an emergency, an emergency means I need something now. It needs to work now or I'm going to die. It doesn't matter what resources it uses. So, a road flare. Typical, the normal size road flares last about 15 minutes. You can, you can snuff them out and use them again, but they're not full. So, I keep a road flare in my go bag. Well, lighter matches. Uh, I, can, I don't have time to make a successful bow drill or I don't have the materials. I need to use this road flare to make a fire right now. So that's a pace plan just for combustion, okay? Let's say it's for cover. For cover, it doesn't really work super well because my primary is my tent or my tarp or whatever I brought, the thing I meant for cover. Alternate to that, well, the only really alternate is your contingency, right? Making shelter. An alternate might be the inside of a vehicle or finding shelter, but eh, if we have to make shelter now, we have to make shelter, contingency. An emergency is like, uh, pulling out that crazy space blanket thing and making making a tin out of that. It uses a very valuable resource to sur help you survive. Uh, cutting tools, primary is a knife. Alternate is a second knife. Contingency, it's very hard to make a knife in nature if you can, let me know how. And emergency, uh, I don't care how it's cut, but this piece of metal, if I rub it on a rock long enough, it'll make something of a knife where I can, you know, bash rocks together and hopefully get something sharp. Uh, Cordage, same way. It's kind of rope, vines. There's really not an emergency cordage unless you start ripping up your shirt. Um, cotton bandana, eh, car compass, right? What's your alternate to your compass? Okay, this is where the two is one, one is none thing is. Primary is my compass. My alternate is my second compass, right? Cloth sail needle, kind of hard to make a needle. And candling. Well, primary is my, uh, primary is hopefully I won't need light. Uh, alternate would be the flashlight, uh, headlamp, whatever. Contingency would be making a fire. An emergency would probably still be my road flare. So I tie these things back together. I loop them in and out. If, if one item can be used for three of these, which it's rare to find an item that is, I'll do it. And it saves on weight, saves on, you know, amount of stuff that can break. There are so many reasons why I stick to these these two principles, more or less. Um, so when you're packing a bag, think about your pace. This is also very, uh, very heavily influenced by mission planning and uh, uh, not just survival, but like if you're a radio man on a patrol, okay, what happens when your primary mode of communication goes down? Well, the alternate mode of communication is a different radio, a different frequency, uh, a cell phone, whatever, and then a contingency is like, I have to make this radio work, I might need to strobe a light at my base. An emergency is might be shooting in the air. It's a, you have to, you have to plan this before you even go out on anything. Everything in my pack is planned out before it even goes in the pack, and then the pack ends up in my truck. Hopefully, when I'm out on the road, it'll work for me. So if you have any questions on this, I'm going to leave links to Dave Canterbury's channel or a video for him and a website for the 10 C's that kind of break it down a little better than I do, but it's more for camping and pace plan. Find a, a military manual. Uh, and if it doesn't say pace, actually read it. Cause I promise you stuff is broken down into pace language. Um, it's, it's wonderful doing this. I, I've, been loving getting back into the videos the last couple of weeks. I've taken a little bit of a hiatus, uh, but uh, hopefully we can get back into the groove. So my father, Pops, codenamed Pops, has started a channel. It's called Half Ass Ready, all lowercase. I'll leave a link to his channel in here as well. I just did a collaboration with him, but he's had videos out since. 
Uh, he's doing very well. He's more on the prepping line of things. But uh, go check him out. He's very good at this stuff. He's way better than I am. So just uh, pack your bags, get ready. Uh, you don't know when you're going to need it. And hell, you don't know when you might need that extra Snickers you hid in the pocket. So hug your families. Find out what's killing you. Kick its ass. Stay safe.